Saturday morning, April 28th. We're on our way to baseball. Got kind of an early morning game. All right, I'm at the baseball field. It's about quarter to 10. I'm gonna sit in my car with the heater on. It's kind of cool outside. Fill out the lineup for the other team and then uh, go back over for the start of the game. This dude next to me is chowing this big breakfast sandwich. Thing was like four inches tall. Look good. <laughs> I'm spying. You're on video. There, says he's eating it. <laughs> Game's over. 15 to 1, our kids won. Man, they were hitting the ball. Would have taken more video, but I was scorekeeping. And I was busy because they were getting so many hits. What's up, Zuko? What you doing, Zuko? Bump. Howdy, neighbors. It's good to see you in the neighborhood. Just gonna put on my shoes. Gotta hit the, gotta hit the front yard, cut it, and uh, work a little bit in the backyard. Yesterday I worked on the drain pipes coming down from the gutters. I'll show you what I did. I put a new elbow on there, and I riveted the pieces together. Can you see the rivets? So instead of just using the screws, I used rivets. It was a great idea. See, so here's the back of my garage, and I used to have that uh, rain catching barrel, but it fills up so fast. So I had to put a little, little extension, an elbow, and then a piece coming out. Let's see, rivets. We've had this crummy little stack of wood next to our outdoor fireplace for quite a while now. And since I'm working on the tree in the back, and I'm probably going to have to burn up a little, a little bit of the branches or limbs that are kind of in between the real small and kind of the big. There's a certain size that the yard waste people will not take away. So, gosh, look at this! I got a new buddy. <laughs> So I'm gonna burn up this stuff. And a while back we made some uh, fire starters that are really, really cool. You take an egg carton and then all those little holes, you have to fill them up with uh, cedar wood shavings for like hamster cages. And then you pour melted paraffin wax in them to fill them up and you get these great little fire starters. They start up fantastic and they put off like an eight inch flame for 10 minutes. These things start up really, really fast. Look, they on fire. Like the outside edge of the uh, container and the wax makes it catch and go. All right, I got the front yard cleaned up, mowed, trimmed, picked up all the sticks. Now we have a great big huge linden tree in our front yard and every time we have a rainstorm with the littlest bit of wind, we have a ton of little sticks and twigs. And this trash can is about half full and that's pretty indicative of uh, just one good rainstorm. I mean that tree, the linden tree, for some reason drops so many twigs and sticks. I'm in the backyard now. I'm gonna start on these piles of twigs and sticks. So my goal is to get this cleaned up because I can't mow back here. I can uh, about you know, the rest of that last week worked out okay, but I have to get down here, you know, and amongst all this stuff. So, got to get this cleaned up and then eventually get rid of all this wood. Fire up there really working. I think that concludes the work portion of today. I 
build up seven containers with sticks and twigs or twigs and sticks. All right, here's my after. I got a couple piles cleaned up. And as usual, I'm beat. It's 3.07, I'm good for today. And I hope you are too. Well, the work part of the day is over. Now the other baseball part of the day begins. Saturday Night Baseball. Creighton versus Illinois State. It's nice out. Can you stop viewing me all the time? Like, seriously.